Sup kiddos, Beaver here. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, I'm sure all 34 of you are worried sick about me. I do apologize for worrying you guys, but it just has been a mess since I moved out to Raccoon City. Move out to the most isolated and beautiful Midwest American city, they said. Now the whole damn city is infested with zombies, the whole place smells like death. Seriously, I pay taxes so this shit doesn't happen. That being said, I should have known this was going to happen. All my friends questioned my decision before I left, and my cameraman even asked if I had heard of some Capcom game called Resident Evil 2. I told him I had never heard of the game, packed up my shit, and bounced out of there. In hindsight, I probably should have done a quick Google search first. Now I find out that Capcom is remaking this game, and it's coming out at the end of January? God damn it. So bad at my job. Anyway, I figure there's no better time to learn about Resident Evil 2 and its upcoming remake than when I'm in a constant state of fear and danger for my life. So, Resident Evil 2 is the second game in the extremely popular video game series Resident Evil. There has been seven mainline additions to this game series and literally so many spin-offs and god-awful films, even if you've never played or watched one of these, I guarantee you have heard of the franchise. And while I haven't spent much time with Resident Evil 2, some of the earliest nightmares I can remember having are from watching my dad and uncle play through the original at the tender age of four, and then reliving those nightmares once again a couple years later when I played through by myself. After that, I realized I wasn't much into horror games at the time, so I didn't pick up another game in the series till Resident Evil 4 came out on the Wii in 2007. And by that time, the game had been out for a couple years now, and since I didn't have many Wii games, I decided to go on the limb and give horror another shot, and I absolutely fell in love. Resident Evil 4 was such a game changer, throwing out those awkward controls for a more modern behind the shoulder camera angle, as well as revamping those old boring zombies for a creepy tentacle cult. That game was fucking sweet! Unfortunately, in my opinion, after this high, Capcom went ahead and totally ruined their popular franchise by making the next two games in the mainline series straight up action games, totally removing most of the survival horror elements that made the series so popular in the first place. And luckily we aren't here to talk about any of those games today. With the upcoming release of the Resident Evil 2 remake for PS4, people are hella stoked to get their hands on this title, especially thanks to the return to form we got in RE7 last year. That being said, I'm sure you're all curious, how does this PS4 remake stack up to the original game released way back on the PlayStation? And I'm about to tell you, cool your jets. Resident Evil 2 was originally released on the PlayStation 1 back in the year 1998 to critical acclaim, eventually reaching cult status and very commonly being found on best games of all time lists everywhere. While the game wasn't perfect thanks to a clunky inventory system, frustrating tank controls, and fixed camera angles, we didn't know any better at the time and it remains to be one of the most popular survival horror experiences out there. Thankfully from what I have played of the demo and seen online, a lot of the original mechanics and story beats stay true to the PS1 game. The demo even starts once Leon makes it to the police department after getting separated from Claire. I would have loved to see how they handled the opening gameplay from the PS1 version in the demo, but whatevs, we'll find out soon enough. From there, you take control of Leon, whose first order of business is to check his Twitter, of course, but is interrupted when the building cameras show an officer being chased down by a zombie. Being the nice guy, he decides to run into the danger head-on to save his fellow bro, who is ironically stuck in the break room. So reluctantly, you crawl through the bottom of the door that clearly says keep out, thrusting you into the first section of gameplay. A small walk down some bloody corridors, you find yourself at the break room with the officer you saw on camera pounding and screaming at a locked door. You try to help the guy, but you get more than you bargained for after playing tug of war with the zombie on the other side. Leanne decides that was super gross and takes off, but not before straight jacking this dude's diary. Luckily there wasn't any embarrassing stories in there, just some boring map and confusing art. Ah! Jesus Christ man, you gotta give me a heads up! Uh, oh shit! I, I didn't have a choice, I, I had to put him down, he just kept coming at me! Hopefully that was the last- My god, people, I get that you have been trapped in this scary building, but just eat us damn Snickers or something if you're that hungry. Leon barely makes it back to the keep out door without getting eaten and is saved by our new buddy Marvin in the nick of time. Marvin fills you in a bit on what is going on and then gives our protagonist a Resident Evil staple, the combat knife. A weapon that you will inevitably use after blowing all your ammo on the first hard enemy you come across. Now this is where the demo opens up a bit, giving you freedom to explore the other half of the police department, pick up some items, solve a couple puzzles, and eventually make your way back to the main entrance hall after finding the spade key. And while the game takes some creative liberties on level design and how the story pulls itself together, the remake, at least as far as the demo is concerned, does a great job at giving you those nostalgic feels while providing a fresh experience for those who have played the original. And the first thing that really sticks out to me about this remake is the atmosphere. The game's sound design, insanely cool use of lighting effects, and placement of baddies really lends its hand to the creep factor as you slowly make your way from room to room, solving puzzles and blowing the brains out of the back of zombies' heads. It reminds me a lot of playing through Resident Evil 7. They clearly have learned from their previous mistakes of making these games action heavy by completely rebuilding on what made the series so popular and scary in the first place. 
And on top of that, the gameplay is silky smooth. The camera and shooting mechanics have been completely revamped from the classic tank controls and fixed camera angles in favor of a much more modern third person view that is ripped straight from Resident Evil 4. At first, I thought changing back from the first person to third person would take you out of the horror a bit, but to my surprise, I was just as sucked in and engaged as I was when playing through RE7 for the first time. Some diehard fans might miss the fixed camera angle feel of the original, but I really think taking this approach puts you more in the shoes of Leon compared to the distant feel I got from playing the original. That all being said, the scarcity of ammo and inventory space have been kept on track, giving you those old school survival feels by forcing you to manage your inventory constantly. Leon has very limited inventory space and very quickly you realize that some items will need to be left behind if you want to move forward. To anyone who has played a Resident Evil game before, especially any of the older games, this will come as no surprise to you, but I do love seeing Capcom stick to their guns after knocking RE7 out of the park last year. Hot damn, I'm pumped after getting a chance to play that demo and chat with y'all about... Shit, I think they found me, I can hear them right outside. Well, I hope I was able to shine a little bit more of a light on my current situation and get us all on the same page about Resident Evil 2. That all being said, I need to get the hell out of here and make it back to Colorado. I'll upload a new video as soon as I know I'm safe. Crap, they're coming, they're coming. Uh, be sure to like the channel, subscribe to the video, and maybe comment down below with an idea that I can do when I get out of here. <laughs> uh, uh, be good to each other, don't ever move to Raccoon City, and have a kick-ass week. Okay, I'll see you guys later.